for those of you who are offline grinders, online grinders, those who may not understand conquests or who just need a few quick tips. Maybe you're a beginner, maybe you're someone trying to jump into the extreme program or just trying to grab those few packs coming in from any new conquest coming in. Let's go into mystery map over here. I personally love mystery map because it's a great way to grind missions, get PXP, get program XP. It's how I've packed most of my major pulls this year. We're just trying to speed through this. It's not supposed to be a ton of effort, not a ton of brain power. You just have a same set routine for conquest and you'll be all good. For those who don't know, when you start off in a conquest, it has you highlighted in one of your strongholds. So for example, you see me in the bottom here. If you want to actually see how many fans are currently in this, you can just hit the X button or the square button on PlayStation. What you want to do when you start any conquest out is pick one of the nearest teams. You want to cut them off from expanding. What I mean is you basically need to make a beeline straight for them and you want to end up cutting off their ability to move elsewhere. That way they don't get a ton of fans stacked up and it just makes your life a little bit easier for later. Depending on the map, you may want to cut off certain choke points. Right here could be a choke point if you were trying to move all the way up to the right side here and eventually get back over here. Now we're on the steel fan stage and for those of you who are a little bit newer to it, steel fan stage is pretty much where you can go in and you can play one of the teams on a difficulty level to steal some fans away and I would not recommend it unless it's part of a mission itself just because it wastes time and it doesn't really have great dividends so I wouldn't really worry about it. I usually skip it. Now we're in the reinforce phase so we currently have three reinforcements based on the number of territories we have. Just in case you put fans on the wrong territories you can just go straight onto a territory select that and move it over if you like or if maybe you change your strategy what you want to do and just like that the angels are blocked in. Generally speaking teams will have a specific direction that they attack from or reinforce. Their code attack very much the same way on different run throughs. So for example if you do mystery map a bunch you realize that the angels generally trend up. The guardians generally attack down but they'll reinforce on the left and the braves usually attack up and only go a little bit farther down. What you want to do is go and try to cut off the next team. You can worry about filling in those spaces a little bit later. If we add one each they will never attack us. They will never attack you. You can pretty much rest assured and not worry about that. You have three fans next to the stronghold itself. You're going to repel any attack they give. Every now and then they will take over that territory, but it is so rare and you can easily just take it right back. Generally speaking on conquest, especially on the mystery map, teams won't attack your one next to the stronghold until about turn six or seven, depending on which map you're on. The thing about conquest is you won't take as many of the free territories first. The reason for that is you don't want to spend too much time fighting early on you might get unlucky with some of your roles you might lose some troops and then you're kind of stuck so i like to take as many of these free territories as i can initially i usually use the d-pad when i'm moving around in here just for extra accuracy so i don't mess up using the thumbstick and notice that a team will have one or two focused spots to reinforce depending on the size of the map if you just enjoy conquest no shame in that for the first beginning part of my time on mb the show i strictly was doing offline and conquest was my favorite part just so you know as you're your stronghold the amount of fans you have determines what difficulty you play on right now we have three and the angels currently have 10 which you can see by hitting the x or the square button on playstation now as you're going through you might not want to play everything on the higher difficulties maybe you're just trying to have a relaxing time maybe you're watching a netflix show or something or you're just not as comfortable on the higher difficulties i totally get it so if you want to play on veteran you look at how many fans are in that stronghold and what you do is you take half that number so in this case we have the angels which have 13 half of that would be 6.5 now what you do is you round that down to six and then what you do is you add that number to the stronghold itself so we have 13 added to the six which is 19 and since when you attack you have to leave one behind we need a plus one to that 19 if we end up using this 20 we get to play it on veteran make it a little bit easier for yourself maybe a little bit less stress or if you just want to multitask and you don't want too hard of a game now if you want to play the game on rookie for example you're new to the show or you really just want a cakewalk you're trying to boost some pxp whatever it is maybe get some missions done what you need is a four to one ratio of what is in that stronghold so in this case it's 13 4 times 13 is 52 but as we discussed earlier you have to leave one behind so we need that 53 so as you can see here we can play on our rookie very simple very easy now if you need any other quick tips or movie the show i actually have a video right here that goes over some accessories that can immediately improve your gameplay along with some freebies thrown in there as well 